And his daddy lifts him up on his steering wheel He says, one day, son, this will all be yours And the banks of the rivers are lined in gold And the sweet doesn't match your sound. <gasps> Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. It gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That, that was... I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. Uh-huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards. And my mind wanders away. Where to? Planets without names. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? I wasn't listening. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. What's the crime? The best kind. The mysterious kind. Okay, I'll do it. I knew you would. Dope. Kids come here to hang out. At least, they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso.
Where did this come from? After party. For your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Stop! No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. No, not that one. Play again. First one. Bonanza. That's it. What are you taking? Nothing. Valves. Later. Wait. Is this Rami's stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. Kill yourself from up here. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. Thanks. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must suck. It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am, where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey! Will I see you around town? You know Lightman's? In Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else entirely. Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen. Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. It's 
place died in the back of your mind It's a soft just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky And you've got nowhere And you don't know just why You're a child of the river coming home tonight Sweet rose pines Lost in your wind tonight Will you run, baby, run, baby Far from home Where the banks of the rivers are You little bastard. Come to me, my love. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. I hope so, too. You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Possible hub of underage drinking. Ah, yeah! Man of the hour! Hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? You ever heard of Lightman's? Hmm? Junk sci-fi movie. It's not a movie, it's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, low minds. Yeah, sure. See what I can do. I'll catch you later, Tao. Calypso is usually much quieter. It gets quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. You avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will... Misplaced teeth. Well then, I suppose we have an accord. And make sure you show your face at the after party, huh?
cafe cliche. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin. Who's come wandering by? Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Yeah, I saw the posters. Mm, there better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. Hey, old fella. I have a dream where I swim up that waterfall. It's a sight, make no mistake. I love this place, but it's killing me. What have you come as? Zombie Vendetti. That is in poor taste. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. Saw the flyers for his show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. A genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. Yours is the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just how you dig it. Whoa. Well, aren't you gonna thank me? I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... <clears throat> Actually, no, never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along, go practice. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Um, uh, hello? Francis Vendetti, the pleasure's all mine. 
Bear Swartz here. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibrations. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent, really. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right out of your head. Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over the phone. All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Okay. Don't cock it up. Hey, Lucy. Uh, I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation, or whatever. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Luke the Drifter. Hank Williams? Really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? Mm, no. You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. I'm not going to the after party. You don't like the skiffle band? They're like Jimmy. Page started in Skiffle. Yeah, everyone loves Jimmy for his Skiffle. Exactly. Thanks, Lucy. My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine and a tomb. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. Don't seem myself? I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning until the end. No one asks me about my dad much.
that I step on stage not as myself, but as someone else entirely. Did people believe an alien could play music? Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmissions? away from the infinite on the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension the universe in all its grandeur its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away the stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet Bad news knocks this late. Um, hello? Greetings. Pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. Fragrant, almost. What? What are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. You found him? I am the hypnogogic Zalm. I appear tonight as a herald of doom and calamity. The support act on our tour is indisposed. A replacement is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? It's supposed to be in Calypso. But I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still. What? Why? How did you do that? Where are my pajamas? Does it adhere to your hideous, humanoid arrangement? I'm in love with it. Why are you giving this to me? Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand, human.
How did... Did I do that? Was that me? You're tuning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait! What does that mean? How did you organize this? Make an entrance, baby. <laughs> and don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm afraid so. Uh, how, how, how did you... I heard the word. You got the aura, baby. You've heard right. Ah! Dance out toward Oblivion and meet her like an old friend. Are you Lightman? Jammer of the Glamorgon himself. Now, we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope, and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. This is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. I can't just go running off into the night. The night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're going to see Flotsam that'll change you forever. Change me forever. Let me give you the first lesson free.
This is the musical key. You're all over it like a boat job. Now repeat after me. my notes, but add your own timing, your own rhythm. What do you think, Zom? He'll be dead by dawn. Excellent! You're hired, baby. Follow me. Wait. This isn't here? This isn't a thing. It this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is going to blow your mind. Luxury packages. What is this place? Like a travel agent? The Cosmic Extraordinary? I have never heard of any of these places. Francis, one look like Venetian. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, image rights, sync, narrative, licensing, I mean, insurance, posthumous royalties, a spectromic signature, you know, all pretty standard. You get all that? Not one bit. Voice signature accepted. Onward! How could this fit beneath Calypso? It's impossible! Past this sign is to French kiss death. That's a striking visual.
Are we gonna French kiss death? I wouldn't dare, unfortunately. But you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known, baby. Beyond that door lies the cosmic extraordinary. What does that mean? Oh man, that's the great matter between the looms of the universe. The outside of reality. Often described as the in-between bits. So it's themed. A themed restaurant. If you want there to be a restaurant, there will be a restaurant. Or if you want there to be flamingos, baby, there shall be flamingos. Or typhoons, or submarines, or the Romanian parliament building. What does it look like? The Cosmic Extraordinary. Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me, it's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you, who knows? There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. You're looking for the lung. The cosmic lung. What's that? It's home, baby. It's home.
if it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. It's got a strange sound to you. Whoa. I'm a wonder. Make no mistake. Are you God? Darling, you are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once, from a distance. What was it like? She was playing pinball. No way! Way. All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. What do you call yourself? Out here? I'm not sure. I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... It haunts me. In this place, you are the namer of names. But choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How do you mean? They wander off. Begin, Begin to breathe. breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners. Scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? And where are you headed? The Cosmic One. Really? You're touring with Lightman? Well, if you say so. What happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung. Our vessel across the extraordinary. What does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless cacophonous debauchery? You mean like a music festival? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. I'll keep that in mind. Far out. What's up there, lad? I'm just trying to keep my head. Ah, a sensible thing, too. Rather important, one's head. No way! There's a whole damn theater in here! Makes me feel like pulling some shapes. Dance complete. Lightning must be performing here.
Where to? Some far out Hendrix album cover. Outside the realm of age. Not here, you don't. Look, if it's glam glam juice you want, try downstairs. We don't really cater to kids here. Zom, this is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty, a certain. Je ne sais quoi. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightning's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Cool. What impossible things have you acquired? Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? I stole that. You stole a whole theater? An opera house, yes. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash away with one. I left a paper mache replica in its place. He's never played a show. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. Where are you sending him? Um, the heliotrons. Oh, of course the heliotrons. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the heliotrons? Ah, Francis! Knew you'd probably make it. The Heliotroms, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamourgon. Wow. What's a Glamourgon? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. Man, she really murders my vibe. Now, curtains are approaching. Any questions? What's the Heliotroms uh, venue? More of the whole dimension. Their denizens socially resemble the actor hunter gatherers of the Philippines. Now, their wealth and standing is determined by the brilliance of their stories. They trade in stories. Oh man, they feed on them. What kind of show is this? Don't know if there's an earthly comparison, young blood. When creatures buy a ticket to the cosmic lung, they're guaranteed a spectacle of unique entertainment. And that's us. Well, it ain't you yet. 
We venture out into wild dimensions, shred on the edge of cliff slide into amphitheaters, raise the foundations of reality itself. Then it's all broadcast into the theater. Live, baby, live. Live? Cool. Visit Violetta, she'll get you tuned in. Wait, is there anything else I sh I oh, 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 okay. My guitar. Uh, pay no attention to me. Violetta, you gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh, sorry. I'm not looking. What were you thinking, coming out here? This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Hey, I didn't want you for the show. White men did. And only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. For your big show? Oh, crap. I forgot about the show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung... We put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think I'm gonna hurl. Really connected successfully. We're done. Anything else? What do you do here? The passengers think I'm in maintenance. They can't know otherwise. No, what? That I run this ship. And that I am, without question, the greatest laser artist in the galaxy. Are you serious? That is so far out. Well, wish me luck. Where to? this. Can I check your coat? We're at a professional, exceptionally discreet service. You honestly look like you're selling the coats. I'm afraid we're closed. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. Where to? Okay, quickly now. This is the Grand Theater. Performances are broadcast to the stage here. I'm gonna be broadcast to all these people? Heavens no, this is my stage. They'll play your pish posh in the disco. But no one in Calypso can see the broadcast, right? They couldn't accidentally tune in? How would I know? Come on, man, follow me. This isn't a traditional performance. See, there's no stage. Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. But there's also stages. You feel me? 
Not really. What should I play? I've got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Oh, no, 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 please don't do that. You wear folk like a cheap suit, young blood. You're something else entirely. No time to gab, you're on! Violetta, this is impossible. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kiddo. Jeez. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, candy in your heels. What am I supposed to do? Head east, into the foothills. You're looking for a creature called Star Gordon. He'll help you find your way back to the lung. You'll need to book through his agent. His agent? It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Oh, yeah. I don't even come out here. Metal. Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? The captain of my soul. Then that's who you must become. Violetta! Damn it! On the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. His rescuers named him Lightman. By the time he was 12, 
Many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. In 1952, Lightman began his legendary Gold Weaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other a duet with the Glamour Gong. It was to be the greatest performance in the history of the universe. Amagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone, but only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. Known of the Glamagon's biology, it is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed and watch it until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. of Lightning and the Glamagon survived the performance. Their duet was heard across dimensions and cemented Lightning's place as one of humankind's seminal artists. In his return, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. The Lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history, stepping stone for many legendary artists.
direction. Grollum, Talent, and Flair. This must be the place. I didn't know you could talk. I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. Yeah. Wow. I guess I am. Does a migration always go there and back? Or can it be one way? It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. Beastie! Dreadful. Huh? What is? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance, literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck.
quite loud for such an insignificant creature. Learn to howl from a wild wolf pack. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Star Gordon? Are you absolutely sure? Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey! All be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I'd bet my hump. Star Gordons. The trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing.
very long time since a little fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> Well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. You, friend of Lightman's? Yeah, I am the wondrous. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, that's so. You got the makings of a story in you. I can smell it. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah, cool. Where are we going? Go oh, to the stars. Tell me of your home planet. <laughs> Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the Wondrous, an entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. Truly a pleasure. Isn't it? You're from the Cosmic Extraordinary, correct? Oh, yeah, of course. Tell me about it. Um, sure. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It must have been hard to tell up from down. Up was down three days of the week, as specified by the council. Ah, so it was a... a Kafka-esque upside down. We lived our lives in simulations of increasingly outlandish arrangements. Have a favorite? Probably the one with the puffins. Conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. That must have been a great honor. Ordered them for 48 years. Came back a year younger than when I left. It's unwise though, growing backwards. 
things tend to unravel. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Stowed away on a combat zeppelin. Sounds dangerous. It was. For them. We were shot out of the void, fell into orbit. I was the only survivor. A harrowing tale. Did it change you? Your time on the Zeppelin? Who can tell? Oh. It's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love. Fear. What scares you? What scares me? Uh, hello? Where would I begin? To go through life quietly and fade away. You feel compelled to be a creature of special significance. Don't we all feel like that? We all want to be something extraordinary. How high do you aim, you know? Ambition is a hungry, salivating, complex creature. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. Without grief or grandeur. No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. <laughs> they're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all! <gasps> Hello? Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. Yeah. I kind of forgot where I was, what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah. It's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long? New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in ribbons. I've never been in a real recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. 
Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? A revelation! But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here. Like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Sure. W wait, what? What happened to these guys? Saw Glamagon. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. A Glamagon? Lightman jammed with a Glamagon. Yeah, yeah, that's going back. The trick is, you have to be more spectacular than the Glamagon. I've got a Glamagon of my own. We've all got Glamagons, I suppose. But for this performance, you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories. And the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow. Enjoy the ride. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it's always a thrill when someone gets it. I've never experienced anything like it. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here, it feels easy, like... Like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard. 
making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. I'll remember. The way back to the cosmic lung, it's in the lake. I am the wondrous from the cosmic extraordinary leader of the infinitely loud galactic symphony. Hmm. We find you initially compelling, mildly spectacular, but no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No, that's not... And we must be entertained! Oh, we must be fed! Uh... Violetta! Help? Your laser show reminds me of Lightman. Well then, let's dance.
delicacy for my taste, but fresh, undeniably. It is a gift, and one gift deserves another. Step into the light, and I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa. The known universe? On every spectrum, station, and frequency. From the greatest metropolis to the smallest mountain town. Well, step into the light. That's pretty heavy. That's enormously heavy. You refuse. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. Back home... People think I'm gonna replace a hero. You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may haunt your entire life. trip is a real freak out. Where did everybody go? Blast! Lightning's playing! Lightman must be playing the headline show. He's a wizard! Where to? Wouldn't you do it? Right, the whole project my image thing. It, no one really warned me about that. She was going to broadcast you across the universe. She was going to broadcast my lasers across the universe. Why the hell wouldn't you do it? Because I just know if everyone saw me dressed up playing nonsense, everyone? You mean Calypso? That's everyone I know. <laughs> Why do you care? What could they possibly think of you? They'll know I'm a sham. That I'm not what I'm supposed to be. That when I said I was a folk musician, I was lying to them. You're not Johnson Vendetti. You're a kid. You're not meant to have it all figured out! It was already figured out for me. 
And I still couldn't make it stick, you see? Even when the path is so clear, I am just continuously wandering off. You could have toured the galaxy. You would have never seen Calypso again. Why wouldn't you do it? Returning to the travel gate. You'd like a word. Where to? been a lag in the backing tracks. No one's to blame. How'd the kid do? Trom's offered to project his image across the known universe. Aha! Incredible! But really? Yep. He turned it down. He did what? Oh, well, of course he did! He's an artist, barely in his formative years. A prodigy, a master's apprentice. You know the chance that kid just blew? For us? For me, Mark? My name is... Your name's gonna be nothing if you keep missing your cues. Don't think I haven't noticed. When you're ready for the next show, meet me at the travel gate. What do you mean? If you don't want any attention, why are you playing guitar? Why are you dancing around? Why are you putting on a show, huh? I can't not. I just gotta play. Now that's the correct answer. What are you afraid of? It's hard to explain. Afraid they'll laugh at you? No. Well, yes, but that's not the biggest part of it. Back home, I mean something there. Some folks have all their hopes caught up in me. Like, I'm gonna bring back something that's lost. Well, baby, sounds like the world's on your shoulders. I thought I'd grow into this folk mastermind. I'm starting to realize that might not be who I am. And it scares me. Young blood, you're never gonna give them what they want. You're probably right. Problem is, you think you've only got two options. Either giving everybody what they want, or failing. You haven't even considered there's a third option, have you? What's that? Are you an artist? Yes. An artist's job is not to give people what they want, Francis. It's to give people something they could never have imagined. Can I ask you a question? Did you ask me to come out here because of my uncle? Your uncle? Who's your uncle? No one. No one at all.
Am I where I'm supposed to be? Hard to tell. What's your first impression? There's a voice on the wind, uh, a tenor, singing about something beautiful, but lost. That's the place. Only stage on this rock is the Lumiere Volante. Jazz club, gaudy, ultra exclusive. You got a plan for that? I got riffs to raise jazz clubs. Electric. And good luck finding the place. What do you mean? It's hidden? Not hidden, but I've never found it in the same place twice. Play there and they'll fly you straight back to the lob. Wait, don't you flake out again. Damn it. it. It's a Tchaikovsky cannonade. The appearance of a Wonder Grill is a complex affair. Where, with whom, what time, in what manner of lighting? The Wonder Grill asks these questions. For oh, the answers can reveal truths about ourselves. What if I only want to reveal everything I'm not? Then search for your reflections in darker waters. What is your destination, little fish? You heard of the Lumiere Volante? For a while, it was in the sewing drawer of a school canteen. Then the aviary of a king. Last I heard, it was near the city of Beige. But nothing has drawn breath in veins for five hundred years. Place is tombed and cocooned. Only way in is beneath. Through the caves. 
You have experienced the all-powerful Globoscopic Wonder Grill! Quite friendly. I have no way of knowing what they're called, but I would have named them Pink Spotted Rock Stompers. in the caves. Musique diabolique. Cool.
Really? I feel like I want to play every stage in the universe. Almost every stage. Right, like the setting informs the content. I understand. So, that's it? That's the whole show? Best of luck. Violetta said you'd give me a ride back to the Cosmic Lung. Excuse me? A giant turtle. Well, what am I supposed to do? What's this? I'll call you! Here. Greed, power, repression, rebellion, usual stuff. So, what do I do now? Honestly, no idea. Keep broadcasting, I guess. Never had someone get stranded before. You're kidding me. This place used to have a warp turtle. So, where is it now? I guess, I left with everyone else. Totally and utterly fantastic. Cheer up, kiddo. You got a lot of people tuning in. Your broadcast has been syndicated across the galaxy. What? When? Why? All good questions. It's a morbid answer. Ratings go up when someone gets stranded. Because, you know. It could all go wrong. Happy travels, kid. Yeah. of people, all the same. What happened in this place? A city, without color, without a singular flourish. Problem with me taking this? Nope. You're not from around here, are you, love? Your suit's custom. No labels, no trademark, no specific signature. It's the first time you've worn that suit. That's right. Your glasses. Herman and Funklum, distributed in the central and eastern USA. So, you're some hotshot fresh out of Earth, huh? First tour? First tour. No fun. What's your destination? Well, 
I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. I've got to find a warp turtle. Not really sure where to begin. A warp turtle? The only warp turtle in these parts resides in the walled city of Glimmer. And where is that exactly? You want a lift? You got a ride? Darling, I've got the ride. place to stand out. They call me Frida. My ship is the Rubicola. I am the wondrous... Get yourself acquainted with the ship. I'll be in the lounge. Calvaggio, this is a wondrous. Nice Don't to... speak to it. Oh, sorry. It is an ordeal. Not for the unprepared. Now, Glimmerdim. Glimmerdim. You can't get in dressed like that, darling. What's wrong with this? They are devotees of style, fashion, form. At least they think they are. The guitar I heard in beige. That was you, wasn't it? You ain't heard nothing yet. You're a musician. And musicians see themselves as ocean terrors. A life of brooding solitude. Defined only by the brilliance of their fame. The opposite is true. Great artists surround themselves in a menagerie of wild life. I think I understand. Take great care in your creative entourage. Rumors, images, fashion, lighting. Take care as if setting a precious stone in platinum. I've got a closet in my quarters near the front of the ship. Go see what you can find. This is the view from the porthole.
my suit? Striking! A statement. What do you think, Calvaggio? A triumph of the human spirit! Sorry about that. Now, where did you get this outfit? From the mall in your wardrobe. Incorrect. Where? In all the wondrous cities and canals and black holes of the universe, did you get this? Oh.
It was gifted to me. By a wizard en route to the Battle of Zenzedzar. Wonderful, courageous Calvajo. Brightness! Now, I don't mean to alarm you, but there's a hologram hovering about the ship. Says he's a friend of yours. And I don't mean to be rude, but he's attracting Chromosquitos. Francis? My name is... Aren't you about to go on? Man, there's no easy way to say this. I've been canned. What? What happened? Oh, a lot of things happened. This is the latest in a long sequence of happened things. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, son. Well, it is, actually. You've been promoted to the captain of the Cosmic Lung. I've been what? No, no, that's insane. The red right hand in charge of broadcast has sent word. More people watching your show than mine. Therefore, you're the captain. You... you have to say no. You have to tell them I'm not ready. No, 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 no. No arguing with the ratings, kid. Half the galaxy's got their eyeballs on you. Half the galaxy? I never made it this far into Glimmerdom. It's rather wonderful, isn't it? things seem more wonderful when they're ending. Chrome mosquitoes. Feeding in the deserts of Glimmerdom. Bravo. Hard to tell. We're coming upon the city. Are you ready? Got everything you need from the closet? I'll ever be. What's your plan to get in, love? I've got a ticket. Really? Oh, I see. So there's no need for a daring guns blazing infiltration? I don't think so. Disappointing! Listen. They're gonna resist you at first, mock you. Because they've never seen anything like you. The Glimmer Dimerinians think they've reached peak fashion. They're wrong. You wanna get their attention? Make yourself seen. Well, the wondrous. It was an affair. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for everything. And good luck.
closer. What are you? I am the wondrous... And this is my ticket. Oh, it's a lovely ticket. Can't argue with that. Gorgeous ticket. Look at that gold. I am looking at it. It's the gold specifically that has caught the attention of my artisan's eye. What colour value would you say that was? Well, I would guess it's golden toothpaste 22. That was my evaluation too, sister. Golden toothpaste 22. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, you read about it, never think you'll see it. Official colour guidelines state all official documents use golden toothpaste 23C. Terribly sorry. Please leave immediately. Your appearance is comical. Comical? Have it your way. I'm off to burn the whole goddamn system down. I was wondering if I could borrow your turtle. 
Deportations last execution squad inbound. Please remain here and disinterested. Warning! 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 Warning. Enemy ship detected! Seriously, enough! What is wrong with you? I've got kids running all over the city, wearing endless non-regulation regalia! So take weeks to clean up. 
I am the Wondrous! I am the Fasodista, chief editor of Glimmer. What do you want? Well, if it isn't too much trouble, I'll need to borrow your turtle. Tim, you're trying to get to the Cosmic Extraordinary. A Fermatron. No! Impossible! Well, if you'll excuse me... I hear the pitter-patter of revolution a few rooftops over. No! No. Wait. Wait! This is my one final and singular offer. You may take the turtle dim, but once clear of my city limits, I will pursue you. I will destroy you on a mount of my choosing. Do you accept? You can try, punk. Back to work, turtle! You've been hard to find, my friend. I've been waiting for you, Francis. What did you say? <sighs> Works for me? Let's hit it. thing to do.
Bitch will never recover! Not the captain, Zom. I'm quite positive. You are. Where's Lightman? I believe he's removing his belongings from the captain's quarters. Party's over. Lightman, I don't know what to say. So you'll captain the lung as masterfully as I did. I'm not the captain. You are. They can't put this on me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Trust me when I say I believe you, kid. But also trust me when I say you're wrong. I'm not who you think I am. I'm sorry. You're sorry, huh? You're sorry? I just don't want to cause any trouble. Kid, that's the worst thing about you. Can I make a request as former captain? Sure. There's one station to go before you can get back to Calypso. Would you have me in the support slot? Of course I would. I'll pick the stage if you don't mind. Got a feeling I won't be around again. And there's an old friend I want to visit. You'll get there one day, young blood. Even if you don't want to. Where's that? The end, I guess. Everything okay? <laughs> you know, all things considered, I'm remarkably calm.
Where to? It's bizarre. As I look upon myself, I think, who is that strange creature? Well, if it ain't the captain. I didn't mean for this to happen. Doesn't matter if you meant it. It's how it is. How's he taking it? He seems a little spaced out. Ah. Are you... Am I what? Upset? Been upset for a long time. It's kinda hard to reach a crescendo, you know? Is this about you and Lightman? You mean Mark? Been about that for a while. Why do you hide up here? Excuse me? You're this brilliant, unexplainable creator. I, I don't even understand the medium, right? And I don't know, you seem ashamed of it. Ask me how good I am. How good are you? I'm the greatest that's ever been. It has nothing to do with shame. I'm just uh, plotting my arrival. What is that? Oh no. Did you do this? No! Lightman wanted to choose the stage. He's going back. Where to? Extreme! Damn, I'm a dolphin! Where's Lightman? He's gone. This is bad. Dreadful, hyper-catastrophic. What's wrong? What's going on? There are no other options. Francis Vendetti must play. Don't be stupid. He's the captain. If he does not play, there is no hope. We'll drift out here forever. I think we should chill, okay? What's so dangerous about this show? Danger level dolphin doesn't sound so bad. Francis, dolphins are the most vicious creatures in the universe. The Hyperion Whale Zone. It's not like other stations. It is guarded by the Glamagon. Only Lightman has faced it and lived. And he is not the showman he once was. If the Glamorgon is not entertained, no one passes through the station. Not the crew, not the ship, not the crowd. No one. And the performer gets vaporized with a laser. I might never make it home. You might not even make it to the Glamorgon. That's correct. To get a show with the Glamorgon, you must first impress the tastemaker. She books the stage, famously hard to impress. Jungle is filled with wandering musicians who never made the cut. 
Lightman is in danger. We must act now. I know that! Maybe we can stop him. Try and skip the dimension before anyone knows we're here. I can feel it in my antennae. The Glamagon already knows. What a goddamn mess! I'll play. Absolutely not. You're good, okay? You might even wail. But the Glamorgon will destroy you, Francis. Francis? I'm afraid this is a moment beyond the measure of Francis Vendetti. There's no Francis Vendetti in the extraordinary. Out there, damn it! They call me the Wondrous! leader of the infinitely loud galactic symphony and not a single organism can compare to the power in these ten little piglets you believe that i have to wish me luck if you want darlings Thank you. Oh, wonderful crowd. Great to be here. I'm getting turbo interference. What's happening down there? I'm engaging with the local riffraff. You got eyes on lightning? Can you get through to him? Nope. Not answering. We won't. He's starting his way up jungle. Same old show, same old song. Ask what the locals thought. Did you little nugget see Lightman? How was it? Delirious. No help at all. Lightman survives this, which he probably won't. I'm gonna fire him into space. God, he'll be halfway to the tastemaker by now. I should hope so. He's the support act. You know, I don't believe in miracles. But I might believe in...
glamour gone. It's a new scene. My story begins at the Cosmic Extraordinary, where no one ever comes back. I'm the leader of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. I am the Wondrous! Before this day ends, I will be stood before the Glamorgon. And it will say... Encore. Yeah, he's called Lightman. He's already on his way. Francis, my little humanoid companion. Traveling well? I hope so. What is that? In the distance? Lightning has secured an audition with the Tastemaker. The show is about to begin. What happens now? Up ahead is a listening outpost. They've got many ears on many sounds. Make a show in there. Answer their questions. Play some guitar if you can. The Tastemaker listens to all broadcasts from the listening outposts. We need your name to reach her before you do.
Oh, Martin! Right, Knowles! Crap, uh, sorry. Ah, fine. It's fine. Heard you staring at the jungle. Place is even. What are you doing up there? I'm the furthermost scout on the frontier. Listening out for the new sounds. They're waiting for you at the outpost. of the infinitely loud galactic symphony. Welcome to the frontier. We've watched your rise with immense curiosity. Marching towards the tastemaker, yes? One boot after the other. Solid. I can see your sound playing out well here. I have organized an interview with the public audio zappers. A meet and greet, if it's not too much trouble. Of course. I could die Just like right now. Zapperskin. We said his name three times and he has appeared! Hyperionites, fresh into the whale zone, here with us now on Devo and Bitbot! It's the Wondrous! Greetings. You're touring out here to impress the tastemaker. Hoping to get a show booked with the Glamour Gun. If the tastemaker were listening right now, what would you say to him? I'd say, welcome to the jungle. We've got a trillion questions sent in from across the zaposphere. Think you can handle it? You may have two. So shall it be written. Question one. What are three essentials on your backstage rider? Four miles of fruit roll up. A flightless bird who smokes a pipe. A marble staircase that leads to nowhere. Question number two. Ooh, this one's salty. Have you had any companions on the road? Harold Dent, though he'd been dead for several years before we met. You've been a beach. And... We're clear. The contest winners are outside. What a fishing! I'll wear the same as shirts as him. All right, everyone, step right up and get your photo. Coming message, Zipnoid Priority. Where is that priority-wise? Right near the top. Okay, patch it through. Francis! Sorry about uh, leaving the English way. Had to make my move while the getting was good, you understand? Lightman, what have you done? You've marooned us all. Oh, no, 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 not if we put on a show to remember. And kid, I got exactly one memorable show left in me. Violetta's gonna cut you up. Don't you worry about Violetta. She's a drag. I'm pretty sure she's a genius. Never mind all that. You and I, we're trailblazers. 
We're the last gunslingers in town. Kid, this is our destiny. This isn't about destiny. This is about you. It's about you reaching out to something that's never gonna come back. And not caring who gets hurt along the way. Violetta deserves better than you. Better than both of us. I'm about to go on stage for the tastemaker. You got it, kid? My name is... And you listen to me. Tonight, it's my stage. I've got no one left to impress. Well, you save it for the spotlight, Captain. We're sending a report down the line. Care to sprinkle a few notes over the top? Lightman's audition. Broadcast live from the tastemaker. Hopefully it's not his last stand. Lightman's audition is coming to an end. And? How was it? It was fine. That's it? What does fine mean? I was led to believe fine was a devastating critique. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, I'll just have to be even more spectacular than usual. I'm afraid that may not be enough. What? Why? A poor opening act is like a stale hors d'oeuvre or a terrible kiss. It does not bode well for the main affair. Even your most spectacular show may not be enough to sway the tastemaker. There's... Nothing we can do? 
Oh, there's something, but it's far too dangerous. I wouldn't suggest it at all, even though it's very close. Tell me. A monumental event in waiting. A creature that only appears once every 10,000 years. If you can convince it to carry you to the tastemaker. A publicity stunt. There's a village. It's in a cave on the far side of this field. The rest is up to you. And Francis, there's something else you should know. Yeah? The time in Calypso, 7.04 p.m. on Saturday evening. My show. Crap! Come on in an hour? I know. Seems almost impossible, doesn't it? Uh, hey man, uh, is it cool if I go in? Are you sure? It's pretty bleak in there. There's no partying, obviously. It's a no party zone. It might wake the damn thing up. I'll make sure not to party. No noise of any kind, okay? The flower pods might start dancing. Dancing's how parties start, apparently. He's brilliant. Lightman. Well, he is. We've seen it before, but I thought this time... I thought he might have added a little... Um, shrubbery. You know, shrubbery? Something fresh? A, a bloom of something strange and new and... Am I making any sense? Zeppelin sized. Little dude, is that you causing a rumble? Oh, I might be back in business yet. Oh, keep it up. That is not a heavy metal migraine. And I think I kind of love that. It, whoa, whoa, I'm considering a new world of musical possibilities. Ah, I have some serious reflection to do. What in the blazing fudge is going on down here? This place is one funky riff away from catastrophe. If anyone goes upstairs and causes a racket, well, I could lose my pension. Jam. They're playing my jam! What is your name, friend? They call me Floyd. I got a favor to ask you, Floyd. You want to ride on my head, don't you? Yes, Floyd. I do.
Here we are, young blood, at the gates of Graceland. You've put lives in our hands. Shush now. None of that. Shoulders back, stand up tall. You're... Who are you? I'm... You've come a long way, baby. You? I know you. You're the taste maker? I am. I alone book the stage for the Glamagon. And a more dazzling application I have not seen. I told you. Lightman and... It's an event of celestial enormity. You're eager for judgment, Lightman. Then you shall have it. Lightman, Jammer of the Glamagon. When we first met, you were already a beast among slow-moving mammals. You have dared the universe to deny something so frightfully evolved. And in the process, you've become one of the greats. Words that will wander my dreams. And the Teenage Riot? You look different. I feel different. You are a frightening talent. When I arrange every facet of you in my mind, I can hear you like a chord. And in the wonder of that music, there is something utterly unexpected. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Yet, the chord contains a flaw. A dissonant note. Just a whisper of it. You know what it sounds like to me? No? It sounds like folk music, Francis. That's not true. I'm the... There it is again. Folk, strummed by a ghoul in your mind. Who is he? He's my uncle. He's a legend where I come from. What is his name? Francis, I wouldn't. Johnson. Vendetti. Vendetti. Vendetti! Lightman! What cheap trick is this? He's got nothing to do with the old man. He's never even met him! You think you could just enlist another Vendetti? Dress him up and I wouldn't notice. Another Vendetti? What are you talking about? He does not know. He doesn't need to know. It's got nothing to do with him. When Lightman faced the Glamagon, he was not alone. Who was... Uh... He was supporting Johnson Vendetti. You knew my uncle? You lied to me. The whole time, you were just trying to bring back Johnson Vendetti. Like all those other folks. Searching in me for some dead man I never met. No, no, that's not true. Maybe I did want to bring him back. But I never asked you to be like him. I never wanted you to be anything other than whatever it is you are. The universe turns, Lightman. Stars die, evolutionary branches rise and fall. 
Yet you have remained in your singular moment. A legacy act. And the stage of the Glamagon is reserved for the future, not the past. Francis, the future is yours, if you have the courage to grasp it. But you cannot face the Glamagon with a head full of ghosts. Your application to jam with the Glamagon has been denied. I'm sorry, kid. Do you understand? not a flighty strum. Maybe I was wrong about you, but what will the folks of Calypso make of this new creature? Calypso? Never heard of the place. 
Maybe you're thinking of someone else. Maybe I am. Where are you headed? You know where I'm headed. The Glamagon. Anything? No. Wait. What is that? It's the strange fleshy creature. Zom, move the ship around. We're rolling out. Where are we going? It's time for my arrival. I've marched across the galaxy to jam with you, Glamorgon. From the far side of the Cosmic Extraordinary! Where no one ever comes back. I am the leader of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony. I am the Wondrous!
As are you, Glamorgon. The rare and brilliant as you are, it was not your music that shocked my gelatinous man of mind. Your laser show, it is unrivaled in this dimension or any other. Who is responsible? I don't think I'm allowed to say. My name is the Miragium, and that is all you shall ever know. You are a transformative talent, Miragium. You may count yourself among the visionaries who have entertained the Glamagon. That means very little to me. The Miragium. That name may form a mantra on my lips. Your cosmic lung is cleared for the next station. Thank you, my new friend. I'm also giving you this complimentary galaxy skipper by Anti-Engine. If you want the impossible, you want Anti-Engine. across the universe to shoot those post-show jitters. Is there anyone you want to pick up along the way? Yeah, I think there is. So, what now? Well, I'm the laser artist who inspired a Glamorgon. Probably gonna cruise around, forget my friends, get some questionable habits, reap the benefits of fame. No one knows it's you. I'll wear the helmet. Wait, is that? Hey. 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 You wanna lift? No, no. Got a lot to chew over. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought it didn't matter. And I was right. Kid, you're a star. We'll catch you around, Mark. Can you come back and get me later? I'll think about it. Where are we going? Who cares? We're on a victory lap. Did you know Lightning played with Johnson Vendetti? That was way before my time. I suspected he might not have been alone. I didn't know it was your uncle. Wanna know something crazy I heard about Johnson Vendetti? He hated the outdoors. Rivers. Streams, mountains, everything he wrote about. That's just who he dreamt he was. You can't just leave me here. I'll never readjust. You've still got to play your hometown show. I can't. I missed it. The festival's over. You haven't missed the after party. I forgot about the after party. You nervous? 
No, I'm not. Where are you gonna go? Impossible to say when I'm not behind the wheel. Turns me into a hopeless wanderer, and I feel like it's time to wander. Well, I thought, you know, that we were a good team. We're just starships passing in the night, kid. I'm not looking for a collaborator. Not for a while. So what? That's it, then? No. I wouldn't be happy with that. I owe you. The Lung owes you. That's why I'll find you again. And... Yeah? Don't forget Francis altogether. He's a friend of mine. Thank you. Goodbye, Violetta. There is a world of unpleasantness coming your way, Vendetti. Where the hell were you? On the far side of the universe. And what in Lord's name are you wearing? Johnson Vendetti wouldn't be seen dead in a get up like that. Found it in a mall, in a closet, on a boat. I ain't got time for your nonsense, boy. Rami, I am the nonsense. Now, cut the lights. I'm about to make my entrance. I swear to all that is holy, if you are not on that stage in five seconds! An entrance, whether literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone. Cut the lights. You better give these folks what they paid for, Vendetti. I'm gonna give them something more.